Cowabunga, Turtle Power, and who understands cricket? Welcome again, once again, to Brick Fury for Suppression-Fire.com. I'm Brad Harmer Barnes, I'm joined as always by Ian Harmer. Hi. And our special guest host from Suppression-Fire.com himself, Omer Ibrahim. You've got to understand Yay. what a crump it is to understand cricket. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do half of them, though. I just did. <laughs> I finished it. Okay. Like a crump it. That's why we're a good team. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We are. We're talking turtles again, and earlier, nice. uh, well, earlier last, um, earlier this year, or maybe actually last year, the turtles it mouse and mayhem. It was this year. It, it was this year. year. Yeah, it was yeah. really surprised us with how good it was. Oh, it's a very cool little standalone. Well, we, yeah. I, I think I said at the time, I was ready to absolutely hate that thing, <laughs> thinking it was going to be a rushed out, cheap cash in, mm-hmm. and it was an outstanding no, labour of love on all const- on all fronts. No, it was amazing. Right. As soon as Hero Clicks hit, and like Marvel and DC were out, people were like. What other what other franchises are there? And eventually you got like Judge Dredd and mm-hmm. uh, Yu Gi Oh did them, and, and people were like Turtles. I want Turtles. I want Turtles. And it just never happened. And then eventually it did. Mm-hmm. And they couldn't. They couldn't have done it badly. They would. They would have. They would have set the world on fire. Yeah. But they okay. needed. Yeah. They needed something good. Yes. Yeah. They yeah. delivered on that start set. They definitely did. Okay. Um, I love that thing. It's ridiculously it fun. It's good fun. Um, right. So, Omer, how long have you been playing Heroclix for? Oh, when did we all start getting into Heroclix? Uh, I've been playing for two years. So, two, a couple of days less. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> oh, it's kind of good. I'll probably just borrow Brad's thing. Oh, I bought a thousand. Oh, I seem to be trading them on eBay. Kind of like every game <laughs> oh, you get into. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I've built my own custom ones for characters that don't exist. Oh, God, it's all right. gone a bit over the top. Yeah, if, you, if uh, you're a sucker for anything that's got collectible miniatures, yep. anything that's got Kickstarter exclusives or rare figures for you to hunt down, yep. and anything you can customise and paint. Yep. Best bit of advice I'll ever give you, steer clear of zombie side. <laughs> yeah, no, I've heard so. Um, do you have a particular focus for the clips you collect, or is it just a, a smorgasbord of everything? Yeah, I, I started off as a little bit of everything. At first I started just doing uh, Spider-Man and his sort of friends, but mm-hmm. then... Inevitably, the me being me went into Thor mm-hmm. and the Asgardians and Loki, and the, I like it's, even when I, when I read comics as well. I like the bigger stuff, and you know, Spider Man and Daredevil and the Turtles and all that cool. But they're like they're saving, or well, particularly with those guys, New York. Mm-hmm. I like it when the it's not even just like the universe. Like with Thor, it's sometimes existence itself is a yes. is yeah, at yeah. risk, yeah. and I just find that so cool that. Almost like a Men in Black style. We don't know what's going on around us. While while Thor and I guess people like Doctor Strange and that mm-hmm. are fighting the worlds within worlds, sort of thing. worlds yeah. within worlds yeah. stuff. Yeah, like yeah. Gore the God Butcher was probably one of the series Horror that series. really got me into reading comics. The Thor series, uh, Thor God of Thunder, Gore the God, God Butcher. I don't know. I'm no. terrible with who wrote I'm not the best for it. that. But that larger scale of stuff is normally what gets me. Okay. Um, but then again, with Heroclix, sometimes it's fun to just have a little street fight. Yeah, absolutely. You don't necessarily want, oh, you, could, well, you, you know, we, Mjolnir in every battle. We talked about it when we did the Colossus episode. Sometimes it's fun to bring a Galactus, so sometimes it's fun to just take Daredevil and crack some skulls down yeah. in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yes. exactly that. Yeah, yeah. he's part of a little team. I've been watching the, the, yeah. the Devil of the series recently, mm-hmm. and he's part of a little team I'm putting together at the minute that looks quite fun. Okay. Um, in fact, we did it on Spreadsify, you could feature my little... Uh, Custom painted TV version. We of did. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's just had some yeah, more modifications, actually. So I might have to. Um, oh, cool. Yeah. I might have to. Uh, I gave him. He can't I watched, not play with it. I watched the end of <laughs> series two. It's, it's not really a spoiler. He gets the. Is it a Billy Club? Oh, yeah. yeah he gets yeah. his one that he can split and it's got a cable oh, really? in the middle. The model I had just had two sticks. Not to be confused with having cable in the middle. Yeah, that would be weird. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> get his head in the middle. Yeah, okay. so I decided I need a bit of wire between them. Okay, before cool. we move on to the feature, quick question we ask everyone favourite superhero? Thor. Favourite super villain? Shot face. God, Loki doesn't count, surely. He's not really he's a villain. He's good. He is for the purposes of the right. Marvel Universe, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. current... Right, favourite bad, nasty character, Loki. Okay. Favourite superhero movie? Spider-Man 2. Really? Yeah, best superhero movie the, in the moment. The Dr. Octopus one? Yep. Yeah, love um, it. Love I, it. I, 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 I really liked it. it. The yeah. game is the best superhero game of all time. And that movie... Yeah, played Punisher. Possibly the best... <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> what are we? What we're here to do? Let's get the suppression fire conveyor belt up. Oh, it's... <laughs> you know that's not the way. Oh, oh, ruin the illusion. The children didn't notice. Ah, oh, right. Hi, right, kids. We have got da, da, da. the Hero Clicks Fast Forces Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Heroes in a Half Shell set, featuring the four turtles: Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, the other one. He got right. <laughs> he pointed at the right one. He did. And uh, Casey Jones. Yep. Who? Oh, cool. 
Uh, most people do know Casey Jones actually. Yeah, Casey Jones. He's, he's, he's got them on the fringes, person. but yeah. yeah. And April O'Neil, and they've all got, and even the artwork on the outside is a fantastic 1990s these cartoon series. These guys are set. Yes. This is the one I grew up with. Yes, yes, it's one most people did. Certainly I did. Yeah. Me too. Whereas the last set, the the, the Mouser set, mm -hmm. was a weird one because they were, they had the four different colour bandanas, mm -hmm. but they were styled like the main from the, from the blind bags, like which main... were the genet like the turtles from the comics almost. Slightly darker. Yeah, but yeah, they yeah. weren't quite the comic book ones. But then you had the all art ones that were. Yeah. Um, the ones in the starter set were just, here's four turtles with four colour bandanas. This is a like a generic sum up the turtles in mm -hmm. a set of turtles. Yeah, sure. um, and then the ones in the start, the ones in the blind bags, the, the all red bandana ones, um, they were more towards the comic books. Yeah. Uh, but we've now got ones that are definitely from the comic books in the new series okay. and things like that. So it was hard to see what they were trying to do with the last one. Yeah, but these are the most list. definitely the cartoon turtles. So, which yeah, yeah, the last the series. 90s cartoon, this, this is the one. should be the ones you're looking for. Yep. This is where this, your this is age group would be introduced yeah, to. And, yeah, and, right. yeah, if you're honest, yeah. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is where they, they launched. The comic book was dark yeah. and a little gruesome. Oh, absolutely. It was, you know, by the end of the... But the first story, I don't know if it was the first episode or the, the first, first story issue, arc or the issue. Yeah, I Shredder was it, dead. The first issue. Um, <laughs> the Splinter trained, Splinter had had a problem with Shredder in the past and trained for ninja assassins who were turtles, uh, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, mm -hmm. to kill the Shredder. Oh, really? And they did. And it was never, I don't know if it was never expected to go on beyond there. So they just basically did it as a one yeah. shot. Yeah. And then it just, it was insanely popular. There's a really good documentary on, oh, I think it's on Netflix at the minute. Yeah. Um, Other video streaming services cool are available. Turtle Power or something like that, mm -hmm. but it's the story of where the turtles came from, all the way up to yeah. now, like the new Nickelodeon series. Yeah, sure. Sort of yeah. Yeah. Like really, really worth watching. Yeah. For a I'll, good I'll stick up on a trailer for it and I'll stick so this is Nickelodeon Brand, isn't it? So, uh, it yeah. It's Nickelodeon Brand, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, Nickelodeon. It's nice. They own the rights to the turtles now because they've always got the new. Uh, what's called the twenty? It referred to as the twenty thirteen or the Nickelodeon series, mm -hmm. which is the new one. Um, that's so much fun. It's great to have you because you are an encyclopedia. And absolutely massive turtle, turtle nerd. Yeah. Uh, the new series is written by fans of this series. Okay. The core of the turtles. The most important thing is one turtle is almost useless. You need four turtles. There. It's about teamwork. Mm -hmm. It's about being individual within a group. Mm -hmm. But the teamwork, friendship. Yes. And working together as a society is important. Mm -hmm. When one turtle goes off to prove he's better, or two of them split up, it never does as well. And then by the end of the episode, movie, comic strip, they come together as a four, and that's that's the aim. Did celebrate your individuality, but work together. No, one turtle is yeah. useful. So we're looking for a set which is going to work well as a team. Hopefully they should see Let's crack one. this open. Let's see what we're dealing with. And here we are. Turtles, heroes in a half shell set. Over Ibrahim on the unboxing. Oh, I've got my hands. I make a beautiful nail on my oh, I'm filthy. <laughs> shall I uh, shall I rip this puppy out? I think you should. Yeah. Right, let's get these little puppy things. Time. Now, did you cut all the tape? Sorry, headphone users. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, and I've destroyed it already. Yeah. I have um Thank a, you. I have a figure called I think it's Taskmaster, who part of it is that you have to guess the next sort of stats on your dial. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> it because obviously you can't see them, but these new cards make it that completely pointless, as you can read it all the time. Right, Turtles, there's the little front piece. I, the, the art is perfect, isn't it? They've really redrawn it's the old 90s, really yeah, nice. supports. Let's start with April. Um, out she comes. She's she's quite nice. There we go, about there. Perfect. She has, that is not a gun, that's a little so very... Little... 80s, 90s camcorder. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she's was, in the yellow jumpsuit. She was modelled on that brief period in July of 1989 where yellow jumpsuits were really fashionable. <laughs> all the things. She's an amazing 25 points. She is a 25 point. Do you want to guess how many clicks she's got? Whoa, three? Two. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's, if she was not... custom painting, she'd make a lovely Ripley as well. She would. She really would. Um, yep, yeah, two clicks of how I. Oh, the clicks are nice and smooth as well. Oh, she has got some very low numbers. I am guessing she is not an attack piece. Um, so she has a she has a trait uh, just called "We've Got to Save April." Um, when April would be KO'd by an opposing character's attack, place her on that character's card instead, and place a rescue token on April's card. Friendly characters with the TMNT ally keyword, which is the turtles. Uh, modify their attack value by plus one when targeting a character that has April on its card. So if somebody knocks out April, mm -hmm. they basically take her hostage, calling Casey Jones. Nice. Casey uh, Jones. Again, 50 points. here's a 50-point 
bruiser. He has got. Well, I'm just going to check his backpack. He has nice got boots. four golf clubs, a <laughs> well, this hockey was stick. Modeled on that brief period in July 1989 when Green Doctor Martin was a really fan. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, it, it, I've got a problem with the hockey stick. Yeah. There is no way. Again, how close? Can there is no way. There's a full length hockey stick that's the same length clubs. as all those guys. There's golf oh, clubs and that's it, hockey yeah? stick. This is a baseball bat. It's he a hasn't got his cricket hockey stick. It's, it's a, a sawn off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's got more uh, explosive content. <laughs> because of it. Um, his trait is rules are for suckers. Casey Jones's actions do not count against your action total. Hold on, let's, should we do it in the in in order of song? So we can go for Leonardo Leeds. And here is the little blue fiend. Uh, 75 points, I'm guessing all the turtles have. He's got clang, did you say clang? When Leonardo attacks only characters of 70 points or less, pure. Modify his attack value by plus one. When Leonardo attacks only characters with the robot keyword, modify his damage value by plus one. Nice. He also has two-toed kick. When Leonardo hits a single opposing character with, with a two toes, after actions resolve, he can <laughs> use force blast as a free action, and the target is given an action token if it doesn't have one already. Nice. And he's got the charge and sidestep, and he's obviously got blades, cause fangs, and combat reflexes that you'd expect of a ninja. Does he have leadership? He does not. Uh, Leonardo leads. Donatello uh, does machines. machines. His purple clicky. Uh, I mean, they are. It just screams for nineties arcade. Yeah, this is absolutely them. Uh, they're all seventy-five. The turtles uh, are all yeah, seventy-five. He's got that claim. Did you say claim ability that Leonardo had? Right. He also has trash can over the head. When Donatello hits a single opposing character, the hit character can't use defense powers until your next turn. Nice. Wow. Uh, so. This Donatello has a bit of a problem. With his bow staff? Uh, no, well, his bow's a bit bent. Yeah. That happens. It's really bent. Uh, also, his head's barely attached to his body. I'm willing to bet if I give that a good poke, his head will fall. Oh, that's, that's good. not good. It's not been pushed. It's basically, yeah. it should be completely square to the front yeah. of his body, and it's just gone down slightly sideways. If this were mine, I would pop it off and re-glue it. Yeah, or it's, it's not worth yeah. it to. Uh, I wouldn't even need green stuff. I can actually see the little peg inside that it slots down onto. Yeah. And it's just not on square. Okay. Uh, Michelangelo, Don't tell Cruz? Michelangelo, he is Corbett Cruz. So, Michelangelo, he's a Russian dude. Yeah. Who throws bombs he's full Corbett of. Cruz. He's Corbett No, that's, that's Ralph. I, I made you do it wrong. Oh, yeah, you're, you're Michelangelo. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's got that clang, did you say clang, that the other two had? Yep. And he also has pizza to the face. Of course when he does. Michelangelo hits a single opposing character, the hit character can't use attack powers until your next turn. Nice. Nice. 75, yeah. the, good. Leonardo's yeah. last three clicks has got blaze cause fangs on a 75 point model. Which is, wow, that's, 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 that's the katana. That's a that's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a that's a closer. Yeah, and uh, finally, Raphael is a party dude. No, he's look, look at his crossed armed annoyance at Yeah, he's just that. finished break dancing. <sighs> he's just doing the pose now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got clang. Did you say clang? Same as the other three did. And he also has break open a fire hydrant. Raphael can use incapacitate with a range value of four. When he does, after actions resolve, hit characters and knock back a number of squares equal to the number of And action. he can dance. It will be action tokens on them. <laughs> uh, okay, well we've cracked it open like a canister full of ooze. Nice. Wonderful. Okay. Nice. Nice. The last animal I touch will now take my... No, I will take its characteristics. Yeah. I'm going to be a bit of a bearded dragon. It's not hurt, is it? The first comment. <laughs> it's going to be a can of yeah. beans. It doesn't really work though, <laughs> because it's, okay, so the animal they last touched, then Splinter should have turned into a turtle as well, because he picked up the turtle. No, stop it. No, 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 no. See, no, it's not. <laughs> it's, ah, I don't. No, it's something no, no. totally it's, different in the first comic, but I can't for the life of me think what it is. It, <laughs> it's the animal you last touched. The turtles touched Splinter, but then Splinter, on wiping his hands, grabbed a rag from next to a rat. Okay. So that's the explanation in the series. Okay. Uh, and in the movies, I love the live action movies. They're probably my favourite rendition of the Turtles. I know really? that's probably heresy. The, the, it's got David Warner in. They're great. Uh, it was. He was a rat first. Mm. In the cartoons, he he was Hamato Yoshi. He was mm. a, he was a human. He was the same in the comic. I read. Uh, but in the series, yeah, in the series and the and the comic he was Hamato Yoshi I mimicked his actions from my cage yeah there's a little rat doing it Hamato Yoshi was was Hamato Yoshi Splinter or was he Shredder oh god why haven't these got real names 
So we've we cracked actually. open the fast forces set. We made Omir's brain milk. Brain just brain I'll, think, I'll, I'll be yeah. over here. Okay, so initial thoughts on these. I like them. I do like the fact that they've kind of uh, mimicked the, uh, the original. Really nostalgic. The colours used are, 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 are it's, full on Yeah, it's a vibrant ring. 1990s yeah. shell suit, global hyper colour. Mm. Yes. Turtles. And yeah. they haven't just um, given them all the same dial. No, no it would be really easy to do that. They're one extra trait. But yeah, no, they, 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 they all fight. Bothered. They all look like they fight like different yeah. Yeah. people. Casey, with the exception of his sawn off hockey stick, does look quite fun. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, he's a fifty-point brawler. I think you know, chuck him in with anyone, and he'll. Yeah, no, I yeah. think he's gonna he's gonna see some room in other teams. Yeah. I don't know how the the what they call the main set, like the blind bag ones. I haven't yeah. been anywhere near them in this series. Oh, I, bought, okay. <laughs> I bought a gravity feed the last mm-hmm. time around, but just haven't had the time nor money to do it this time. Mm-hmm. But I wonder how um, because last time the starter set they were, I think seventy-five each, mm-hmm. uh, and then the ones mm-hmm. in the gravity feed were fifty. Right. Or yeah. sixty for the chases. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what hmm. what comes out this time around. Yeah, yeah. Iroku Saki. That was the shredder's name. Hamato Yoshi was Splinter, and Iroku Saki was the split. The shredder. Neither of whom are in the Fast Force system. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, that's. I. It's an, it's I, I know. I know. It's 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 a fun. It's a good Fast Force. It's a good Fast Force. But I would much prefer Splinter to April. Uh, I because prefer Splinter over Casey, if I'm honest. I like her her gimmick. That's true. She is the gimmick piece. Yeah. But if you wanted a, a Fast Forces of six figures that could fight, my complaint, I would take her out and put Splinter in. My there. complaint is before Turtles are 75, 150, 225, 300 points. Yep. So that's a force. You've got to have around 100 yeah. point figure playing yeah. here. And then you've got uh, 75 points left in the support. So it's a 375 point. Yeah. Which can't be. Which is little under, behind which the is, scenes. Which is underweight to fall. Little behind the scenes. Try and put together something to fight it that fits some kind of theme. Has been awkward as hell and I haven't managed. So. That's right. Spider Man can turn up with Punisher. Yeah, why not? These, these are instant. I mean, obviously, it's the. It's the, it's the That's what you're buying. You're buying. Yeah. Yeah. And these are, these are the. Would, you would need you... six figures in one of these. What I mean, how much do these retail? Like? About £15. Pounds. 15 pounds. Yeah. What are they going to do? Give you those oh, for and sell it for 12 No, they won't. No, they, well, you know. What I would have preferred to see, I think, you know, we haven't road tested them yet, but it is coming. Mm-hmm. What I would have liked to have seen is for four turtles and maybe 200. If they were 300 points, under a 50 point Rocksteady, under a 50 point Bebop. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Or a bigger set. They've all been six figures. I know that's yeah, their that's, that's probably the, that's their mission statement, thing. that's yeah. their standard. Their but like stuff, an eight yeah. an eight figure one. So, so you can have Shredder and a like foot. The, the the DC uh, fast forces mm. sets, you normally got something unusual in there like mm. uh, Batman drop weapon drops. Yeah, yeah uh, I've got Whereas the this, they've kept them on, which I think I think these are great. As I say, mm. these do yeah. struggle to yeah, make I do up. think I will say in the defence this is, I don't think this is an entry level product I think no. this is the oh. the Mouse of Mayhem was for getting people into playing here yeah, but them. they this didn't is, compete outside of that box this is I've people, tried it they fell apart this is people who are already playing here it's and won a turtle set I don't know I I think you're right but looking at the dials they're quite simple mm-hmm. there's no like and then I'll do this, and I'll put him next, and then when he does that, he'll get an attack and a free action through the... It's, it's just, oh. I attack you, and now this thing happens. Now I'm going to use Donatello. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, interesting, though, but 300 points, you can't use all of them in one turn. So that's quite a good attack. Are you going to do pairs? Are you going to do the classic pair of Leo and Raph and Donnie and Mikey? They always, when they split into twos, that's how they go. Mm-hmm. It's always those twos. They're best friends. That's the age, age they were born as well. Go, I'm so glad you turned up for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> was it born? Or was it they, hatched? They must have hatched. hatched. Here's another thing. They're not turtles. They're, They're terrapins. <laughs> the live action, in most most pictures of them, the artists have drawn or they've filmed terrapins. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Terrapins wouldn't have scanned, would it? doesn't work, does it? No, and how long have they been Teenage Mutant Terror in it? That's true. <laughs> terrapins. <laughs> for, year, also, for years, I thought it was Heroes in a Hard Shell because that made sense. Yeah, I guess you're right there. But it's here as a half shell. No. Well, what's a half shell when it's at home? That's true. Well, it's, if it was a full shell, they'd be an egg. They were eggs, and they hatched. Yeah, so now they're in a half shell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if there was a full shell, where would their eggs come out? I think it's time to take these for a road Man, test. Man, I yeah. love being a turtle. Yeah. Who's going to take the tallest one? You take the tallest one. <laughs> That's a reference to the movie I'm really glad yeah. I got in. Yeah. Leonardo, <laughs> Michelangelo, Raphael, and Mechanic. 
Can we? So, Ian, you can take the good guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm man. You can rustle up some bodies from uh, your extensive bring... Heroclix collection. I think. I think. Are we going to fill them all? I think so. Yeah. yeah I, think, I, think I think all of those. I, and we should, try and do I should be able to bring the foot, and we should have an in, in universe fight here. Cool. This could be fun. Okay. okay. We'll set the camera up. We'll set the games up. Let's see how these guys fight. Will we? Mm -hmm. An everybody else has got side steps. This one crash couldn't have been in for a while then. He's his favourite one. Yeah. Right. Two. So that's those, they're clear oh, down to these. Are, oh, I actually think they've got to smoke bombs to travel that thing. So. Yeah, no, no. He's still on the bits that broke. Oh, it's a clear shot, but I think you might struggle with range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. yeah, just dang. It's true. I'd rather have one tail than no tail. So you're just going to move up to there. Charge. So on there. Okay. And just gonna slice him into bread. Yes, okay. he is. Yeah. Range, one, two, no, it's not reaching. He's got side step though. So he's gonna step there and throw, I okay. guess, on Shuriken. Shuriken! Okay, and just move up to the nice it done. Whatever, the second one. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, he's there as well, so he'll try it. Shuriken! Again. Oh. Will he? No, do you know what? He's gonna side step. Run away! I'm gonna sidestep him and try to punch Raphael. True. Yeah, yeah. So many sides. Uh, I think I'll show the force blaster as well as a free action. Yeah. Okay, so we cracked him open. We took him out for a quick test drive. And I got cracked open. You got cracked open. I, did. Quite I cracked really. one shell. It was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll yeah. have that reel there if I can figure out to edit software as well as Joe Crouch could. And if I can't, then there'll be just a static picture of us talking about how great the game was. Yeah. Um, if not, there'll be a link down there, which will tell you where you can go and watch the full uncut video stream of us playing the whole battle. So if you want to check out how these pieces work in action, go check out that video, then come back here. Good. Well done. Welcome back. Ian, you were playing as the Turtles. Yeah, what I were was... your feelings of them as a fast force? I, I think they linked together very well. I like the fact that Casey Jones had M-Power and the that other... Was... Devastating towards yeah. the end there. Yeah, yeah it was. Good that you used it all game, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point, yeah, he did get to the end and had four team re rolls left as well. Yes, yeah, he didn't use those at I do yeah. think I was quite lucky with the dice rolling as well. No, it was good dice, uh, but, but, but you right. put them in good positions as yeah, well. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. obviously a variable in there. I tried, um, yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. good to be able to push push Casey Jones and then heal him with. Uh, that was good. Cool. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I, well, I think that they do complement themselves very well. Yeah. So initially, I was concerned about how low points they were, mm -hmm. uh, but they played well. Yeah. They yeah. Really good do you think they'd hold up as a 300 point just against another 300 point without was, the two? I was just about to raise that question because. They that one, that, that, that ability which gives them power against characters at 70 points mm -hmm. or less, and the one which gives them extra damage against robots, that does seem to be geared towards taking down the Foot Clan. Yeah, yes, these, these Foot is... are from the last series. Right, okay. Um, I don't know how I really many like Foot are Yeah, well. I love them. Yeah. I, I've used these as a swarm, uh, because I think you can get like these guys without the mouses and that at, at a good 300 point. They are punchy. Like, mm -hmm. I, su um, I suppose a lot of the turtles' enemies are robots. Mm -hmm. mouses, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's certainly the cartoon ones because they're not allowed to hit yeah. humans. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you watch, and you I know, suppose Bebop rocks are classed as mutants, aren't they? So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and if you look at the, especially in the especially in the cartoons, um, Leo has a pair of massive great swords, but katanas, he beheading he swords. He never cuts anyone. Pizza. He'll 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 lock a chandelier to drop on someone, mm -hmm. or yeah. he'll he'll use them to like. Throw a tire with his sword. You know he won't. Yeah. Oh, they won't yeah. stab or hit anybody, which mm -hmm. is. But I, yeah. that was almost what he, he was doing. Have a similar there. problem. Mm. Uh, playing against them felt they were mean. They they, they were, came at you when they hit. They hit hard. Yes, um, they've got a lot more damage output than the last series of turtles. Yes, they yes. Seem so, um, the that old one, ones. I've got them here. We can have a look. But they do in that one. Two I and one has, damage has been left behind as a box game. Yeah. Oh no, I'm talking about the the blind bag. Oh, the, okay. the, the, the gravity right. feed. They've got. They've got two two damage, and you know they can perplex up their damage. And with mm. Leo can perplex, uh, uh, Donny sorry can perplex up all of them at once and stuff like that. Oh, wow. um, but no, I mean they've got four damage on some, well three and then four for the robot. against the robots. Yeah. That was really hurting me. I get it, yeah. maybe if I ran Spider Man or Thor, it'd be a different story. But mm -hmm. it was built to take those out. But at the same time, I did have the numbers advantage of the swarm. Yeah, it was a great. If um, you both built teams. 
nice little thematic. Yeah, thing, yeah, I'm it? trying to. Yeah, yeah, it was. Don't know who the thug was. But... It was fun to watch as well. Yeah. What did we think of April? I wasn't but, sure at first. So that mission but... thing didn't really kick in. No, that game. didn't kick in because I didn't manage to hit her at any point. So, to be honest, we don't normally play games for point captures, do we? No, so we, that's going to be a bit different. It's normally to the death, so, isn't it? So we'd have to set up and say, well, that counts or something. Mm -hmm. now, yeah, something yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'd bring her to a big battle royal. Okay, but, yeah. but it was she was she was. Maybe she I think if you hit her, you kill her. But I, I think, think if you had twenty five points left over, you could find. Were these a level the model? Yes. Up Seventeen up defense cool. with um, shape change. There was mm -hmm. um, hard to hit. Yeah, her. yeah. Oh, no, yeah. she is good like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, yeah. she's hard to hit, but I don't think she'd do anything. Hmm. But as a healer, she works quite well with yeah. the TMNT. They're hmm. all based to go together. Hmm. You wouldn't use her with. The Joker or anybody like that. I've you know? been thinking, you know what would have been, as I say, we, we, as I said, you know, if you had 25 points left over, you're going to be able to find a better model to use when April to fill your force out. Yes, yes, I think so. Would this force have been better if it was 475 point Turtles, bringing it to 300, mm -hmm. a 50 point Casey Jones, mm -hmm. and a 50 point Splinter bringing it up to around 400? I probably would have preferred that, so you've got two choices of team there. You're getting there. Well, I, think, no, I, think, I think it didn't have to be Splinter, I think mm -hmm. April was fine. I think yeah. It's, uh, yeah, maybe just a 50 point just, April. It changed, it it changed it's the aspect. It's weird. There's a fast force, but it's not a round number. That is yeah. the only thing I'll say about it. Yes. Again, I think it is you're buying the four turtles, and here was the other two figures you, you get in a six. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but no, I like them. I like them. And for the price, you, like I said, I always say with things like this, it shouldn't come down for value for money, but unfortunately things do. Mm -hmm. If you like it, buy it, That's and you can afford it, buy it. But I would recommend buying these anyway. That's They're fun. Hmm. Right, so it's going to come down to the. Ninja Turtles, Heroes in the Half Shell, Fast Force is set, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think they're good value for money. Um, thumbs up. Thumbs up, maybe. Totally thumbs up. Like that. Thumbs up. <laughs> I'm, I'm going kind of at an angle because as great as they are... You will lose April. Uh, it's just so short of being great. There's, it's, it's not it's perfect. It's, perfect. it's oh, not yeah, perfect. Yeah, There's yeah, that yeah. little stumbling block of another day's thought on this and it would have been amazing. Yeah. And it's just, I keep coming back to that, 375 point Fast Forces? Yeah, yeah, I think that's... I think Fast Forces are going towards collectors now as well. Yeah. I think so many people yes, are yeah. building forces that... And for me, it's it's thematic, and I like the Turtles, yeah. or I like some Asgardians. But a lot of people go, okay, uh, I've got Doctor Doom, Batman, and... The, and, and uh, J Judge Dread mm -hmm. because they those powers work well together and I think you'll get people I think with these it might be different but I think people might go okay I want Leonardo Superman and the, Infinity the thing yeah, yeah exactly. you know I think that's the way Heracles is going which is yeah. which is good if that's your thing it's sad if that's your thing you know I play the, I, I play X uh, X Wing sorry no X X Wing and that you know you you want the upgrade from the Tie Fighter on the X Wing to win games, and that's mm -hmm. the way that game's played. And that's why I enjoy playing that. Some people will only ever put Luke Skywalker and R two D two together. They wouldn't dream of giving R two D two to Wedge Antilles. Yes, you know, okay. yeah, and I, I think I look at. Hero clicks on the other side of myself from X Wing, where I like, okay, I'm gonna have the four turtles and uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. But actually, I, I'm, I will spoil it for anybody that sees this before we do play the next game. We play. I'm planning a little team of uh, the turtles and the man that inspired the turtles. Uh, Splinter. De de stick. <laughs> Dead Devil. Um, there's a little 300 point team I'm putting together that way. I don't think there is a stick here at Clicks. I haven't seen one. No, there's a Splinter. There should be. There's yeah. a crossover. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. We'll just make a little ninja. Oh, ninja dude. Don't say the Teenage Mutant Ninja Hero Turtles, Ninja Turtles, sorry, uh, the Heroes and Half Show Hero Clips Fast Forces is available now for a fourteen ninety nine, I believe. Around there somewhere. Never yeah. Remember retail. Yeah. Uh, thanks very much to WizKids Games and SDVM for helping us set this video up. Um, if you want to keep up with what we're doing, I'm available at Real Brave HB on Twitter and Instagram, and you can search for Brad Harmer Barnes on Facebook. Omar is at the Iron Turk. Yeah, there's, there's a Twitter Twitter. account that's attached to me, but I mean you'll you'll use it more than I do yep, if you visit okay. it. Uh, or you can search for can't sleep must paint on yep, Facebook, which is your painting and miniature um, modifying. Yeah, right? sticking yeah. things to things that don't belong. Yeah, you've, on you've done Hero Clicks stuff on there. I've done plenty of Hero Clicks yeah. on there. Um Hero Clicks, X Wing, your Frostwave, Hero Saga, Kratos Hero Clicks, uh, Yeah, Hero computer Clicks. gaming, gaming, a little bit of everything goes yeah. on there, whatever yeah. I fancy putting. I did an ethereal bear yesterday. I wonder if that'll go on there over the next week or so. Mm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
and uh, Ian, who is exclusive to Brick Fury and unavailable any social networks apart from Grinder. Just here. I might make him an account on Grinder. No, that wasn't where I was going, but let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> is Tinder available on Kindle Fire? Because we advertise in copyright. Kindle, 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 Kindle. <laughs> with, but you can only use it with a thimble. Yeah. Tindle, Kimble, Kindle, Kindle. This is a weird show. Yeah. Um, and we'll keep tuned to suppressingdeathfire.com because we are talking hero clips with the X Wing. We've got a new Conan board game we're covering, Legendary, uh, Alien vs. Predator, Armada, anything you want us to cover. Let us know. And oh, oh yeah, well, yeah, we are we are expressing fire on Facebook, and we're also now on Twitter at Sapphire UK. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, thanks again for having me coming on the show. It's been great fun with you. Yeah, and um, total power. I made another funny. <laughs>